Go ahead, Neil. Uh, Dr. Weezer, you've said the, called this a big deal. You says that uh, the potential to overwhelm the health system. Do you have any modeling numbers uh, regarding uh, LM wind power, 400 and some tested, and how many positive cases they have so far? Very good question. Um, at this point in time, it takes between 24 to 48 hours to get the numbers back. They did test over 420. We have 15 positives that we know of already. One of the things to consider when modeling is the number of initials that develop, and then you take that by the population at risk. So the population or the workforce of LM is 880 uh, personnel. They work approximately 100 to 150 on a shift. And with their families in, in total, it's approximately 2,500 people with direct contract contact risk. So what we're really going to be relying upon is what they have found out from the State Department and we should know within the next 24 hours what those numbers look like. So really can't make any projections, but it certainly has the opportunity to be a very substantial large number, you know, and in keeping with that, in our partnership with the city and uh, discussions with the state, the reason for such robust testing quickly is to allow us to be able to react to that and, and contain it really from the get-go. And this public service messaging to our community about the importance of following the safe measures we've put in place and enforce them is the biggest uh, opportunity to control further spread. Um, uh, Dr. Weiser, again, if I could follow up, you said uh, the LM wind power, uh, 2,500 uh, direct contact. I'm just wondering, I mean, is there a shortage of testing supplies? It would seem like why not test everyone and then nip it in the bud if, the, if this is where this started. It's a great question again, Neil. And just to reiterate, Testing is a limited variable for the whole U.S. population, and we're no different. So while we have the advantage of having basically a SWAT team from the Department of Health who came down to the broad spectrum testing on symptomatic as well as contacts, that'll dictate how much further testing needs to go through to quarantine and to isolate dif different people that are at risk. You know, once you have a known contact in a family, as an example, that's positive, and anybody, that family should self-quarantine for 14 days, and you can assume if anybody develops symptoms, they have that. So their extension would be based on the duration of those, when those symptoms started. So that is a way to actually extend your testing capability. But in a nutshell, sir, it's just the reality of the day is we have limited amount of testing resources at any given time. We have to be stewards of that. 